Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my IMATS haul for this year. I went to IMATS yesterday in Sydney. I went with my good friends Casey, Hannah and Chelsea. So I will link all their channels below because Casey and Hannah both vlogged the trip. So you guys can go over and watch their vlogs and see what we got up to. But today I am going to show you all of the goodies that I picked up. I spent way too much money as I knew that I probably would. Because when there's discounted makeup everywhere, you really can't help yourself. So I'm going to just start pulling things out of this bag and show you guys everything that I bought. So first up I went to MAC and if you guys have ever been to IMATS, you know the MAC line is so long. So the first thing I got, which I knew I wanted to get, I wanted it last year, but when I got to the counter, they had already sold out. I picked up Tan Pigment, which is just the most gorgeous color pigment I've probably ever seen in my life. It is so, so, so beautiful. And I've seen people use this like as a normal eyeshadow, but I've also seen people use this mixed in with their foundation to give like a glowing bronzy look and it just looks stunning so I'm gonna give it a go and try it in some different ways and probably do a tutorial for you guys so yeah I'm so excited to have finally picked this up and the next two things I got I am absolutely so excited for I picked up two of the new highlights so these are actually launching next January so you can't get them until then but they like pre-released it for eye mats so we were lucky enough to get our hands on them um so i got two shades i got the shade double gleam which is like a really beautiful goldy champagne kind of highlight it's absolutely stunning it's like butter and i'm so excited about it and i also got this shade called beaming blush which isn't my normal kind of shade it's more on the pink side and it's kind of like holographic almost um, when you see the close-up swatches you will see but it has like, like gold reflex in it and just the way it looks looks so stunning so I decided to pick this one up as well because they had the 20% off sale um, just, like that's just the IMATS MAC price um, so yeah I'm so excited that I got both of these and I'm glad that I ended up picking both of them up the next thing I have to show you guys is just some model rock lashes so um, Model Rock is basically like Red Cherry as far as I can tell. Um, I've always loved Red Cherry lashes and these literally are called the same things. Like all of the individual lash names are the same. Um, they all look the same and they have the same packaging. So I decided to pick some up. So I got six different pairs of eyelashes. I got the 747Ms. I got 241s. I got... DW Style 3, which I think stands for like Demi Wispy. Uh, I got W376. And then I got two of the number 43s. So they're all like, like really beautiful wispy lashes. And I just like having these on hand both for myself and for if I do anyone else's makeup. They are just really handy to have. And these only cost me $3.95 a pair. So it ended up being like 20 something dollars for six pairs, which... I think is quite good. I picked up two different things from PM Studio, but I'm only going to show you one because the other one is actually a present for my mum. On the off chance that she watches this video, I don't want her to see what I got her, so I will show you what I got for myself. And that is just another Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in G20. Um, I'm pretty much run out of mine completely, so I wanted to get another bottle because I absolutely love these. I love mixing them in with different foundations that don't have enough coverage or yeah that's pretty much how I use them. I don't use them on their own. I've never tried them on their own. Yeah I just love them and I find like if I don't if I have a foundation that I'm not in love with if I mix these in with it I end up loving it. So yeah I wanted to get another bottle of these. I got some stuff from Mayron Cosmetics, which is, if you guys didn't know, they do all sorts of special effects, makeup and things like that. Um, so I wanted to get some stuff just for next Halloween. So I just picked up some stipple sponges. There's three little sponges in here. They were only like $5 or so, I think. Um, just, yeah, just for next Halloween. And I also got the Rigid Rigid Collodion, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I saw Shannon from Shanxo using this in her um, like scary nun 
Exorcist tutorial and it basically creates a scar wherever you paint it onto your skin so I thought this looked so 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 cool so I wanted to get some for next year. And then lastly from Mayron I got three different glitter pigments. So the first one I got is this incredible green. It is just absolutely stunning. Um, they don't have cool names. They're just literally called like green. Yeah, it's 827GR, which I'm assuming stands for green. So I got this one to do like a Christmas tutorial. I'm so excited for it. I got this purpley fuchsia shade, which is just called 827F. Um, again, assuming that stands for fuchsia and it looks absolutely stunning and then the last shade i got is this copper shade which is 8270h um and yeah they look amazing and these were only ten dollars each which was an absolute bargain and that's why i got three of them just so i could test them out try them out and yeah. I'm excited. I love glitter. And the last things I got are from Inglot. So I will show you guys this all together. I do have a whole video coming on these. I'm going to do a whole entire video dedicated to this like palette making and what the powders are like. But I got a flexi palette. So essentially, it's basically like a Z palette. So it looks like this. It's absolutely stunning packaging. It has magnetic cover so that's what it looks like there and I'm obsessed with the packaging it's absolutely beautiful I'm just in love with this and what you can do with those is buy their refill pans so I got quite a few refill pans to build my own palette I got all face powders and I didn't get any eyeshadows which I was going to but I sort of like spent all my money by the end of it so I'll go through and show you guys these are all the powders that I got bar one because they ended up running out of one of the highlights that my, both myself and Casey purchased. Um, so the lovely girl at the stand is going to mail them out to us uh, next week. So that is fine with me. So the first shade I got is a sculpting powder and it is in the shade 507. So they all come in their little boxes and then they just come in a little pan. So this is a bronzer shade that I got, so number 507. The next sculpting powder that I got is in shade 505, and it's a really nice cool toned like sculpting shade. So it's kind of warm, kind of cool. So I loved this color because it's not too gray and it's not too like brown, like warm tone brown. So I'm going to use this for contouring, of course drawing out my chick bones so yeah again that is in shade 505 and then I got a matte highlight shade in 503 so it's just like a nice light matte highlight that you could use to set under the eyes and the center of the face just to keep it nice and bright so I got that one again in 503 then I got one other highlight that is obviously different to the highlight that I'm waiting on coming in the mail this is one of the HD Highlighter Trios, and it's in the shade 102. So it's like a little shimmer strip. You get three different shades, and I guess you could either mix them all together, which is how I swatched them, and they came out absolutely stunning. So I definitely wanted to get this one, and yeah, again, that is in shade 102. And then lastly, I got three different blushes. So the first one I got is in shade 21 and this is the color of it. it. It is so stunning. It's like a gorgeous muted rosy pink. It's kind of like a dusty, yeah, a dusty rosy pink and it just looks stunning. So excited to use this one and they all swatched so creamy and pigmented and I was pretty much sold as soon as I started swatching the powders. So again, that one's in shade 21. The next one's in shade number 47, which is a super beautiful, bright neon kind of coral. Um, looks absolutely gorgeous. I think this will look so nice when, like, on my skin when it's nice and tanned. So I'm really excited to use that color. Again, it's called 47. It's kind of hard that they don't have names other than numbers, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. And the last blush colour I got is in the shade 127, which is again more of a darker, like pinky, browny shade. I just don't have many blushes this kind of colour. 
color so I wanted to get stuff that I hadn't already got like the same product just in a different brand if you know what I mean like I wanted to get different kinds of things so again that one's in shade 127 and those are all the freedom system powders that I got to put in my Inglot palette so that's everything I purchased from iMats this year, guys. I really hope you liked this video. Keep your eyes peeled for the Inglot video that is yet to come. The review, like putting my palettes together um, and all of that kind of thing because I'm super excited for that video. But that's, I think, all I have to say. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!